Here are the tests on my 2019 Glacier Bay High Efficiency Toilet. Now I predict that this will pass every performance test, but it will miserably fail the one flush test. I set it to the water line on the original flapper. The original fill valve was too slow, so I put my fastest filling fluid master in there. But let's give it a flush and see how it does with just water. It's got a pretty strong flush, but around the sides, there is very, very, very little bull rinse. I'd say about 50% at the most. Just getting some water in there. First, I'll start with a washcloth. I guarantee it'll pass this. All right, tank is full. Let's see how it does on just a washcloth. Perfect pass as expected. Now let's try a grocery bag. I also predict that it will do a perfect pass on this. I don't think the water level in the bowl is up to the correct height, but let's just see how it does anyway. Once again, another perfect pass. Let's try them both together. I'm expecting this will do a pass, if not a perfect pass. These are very good performing toilets. I just don't like their flushes. Well, I guess the round ones are better. I think it only failed that because the flush, flush was short, to be honest. I think it'll take it with no problem on a second flush. Huh. Well, if I, for some reason, was buying a new one, I would definitely get a round one. That was not as impressive as I thought it would be. But then again, it's a Glacier Bay. I'm going to try a dish towel. I think it'll pass, but I'm not so confident this time. But I do have to wait for that tank to fill up. For some reason, this is my fastest filling fluid master, and it just happens to be one of those Pro Series ones that's known for being slow. But the tank is almost to its water line, so let's give it a flush and see how it does on a dish towel. Perfect pass once again. Let's get some water in the bowl. There we go. And I'm going to put this bin under it so that the dirt does not go all over the patio. That toilet will be dissected pretty soon. Now, I'm not the kind of person who bets on silly things like this, but I bet $100, 100 of my hard-earned dollars, that this will fail this test. Even though it's not even sticking to the rim, it's going to fail this.
Now, is that the worst flush ever or what? <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess I get to keep my $100. It didn't even fill the bin. I'm going to have to dump this and then come back for a second flush. That's pretty pathetic, to be honest. Actually, what I think I'll do is I'll just move this out of the way and I'll see if this bigger tray fits. Perfect. Now I'll hold the handle down. And if it doesn't take this with the handle held down, that's sad. Oh, come on. Do I even want to sell this? I don't know. I'll think about it. Because it's looking like one of, it's looking almost like a 2000s pressure light with this kind of bull rinse. This is just sad. This is just really sad. You know what? I'm not going to sell this toilet. I'm going to give it away for free. And I'm going to say it has a very awful bull rinse, but it is very hard to clog. And I'm going to save the tank. So that is what I'll do with this toilet. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and turn on notifications. It helps my channel a lot and I'll really appreciate it. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video.